Hi, I'm Carl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is the SketchUp tutorial series playlist. I do appreciate you taking your time being with us today, and and let's go ahead and get started on this thing. What we're going to do in my version. There are many, many, many different ways of doing this, but this is how I've learned how to do this project, and hopefully you'll be able to understand it. We're going to draw off of a imported PDF. So let's go ahead and come over here to my Google. I've already, let's see, get rid of that. I typed in on the search on Google, one room apartment PDF. So many of these things came up. I don't need that one. So many came up and for some reason it's here we go many drawings came up in different different uh, varieties but just for simplicity for the video we're just going to do a very simple very very simple layout so I have searched through here and I found two drawings that I saved and they are right here. See this one right here and this one right here. I'll go ahead and click on this one. We're not going to do this one. We're going to draw, minimize that, we're going to draw this one. Another very simple. This is a little bit more complex than the first one, but they're all pretty good. So let's go ahead and minimize that one. Let's minimize this. Minimize this. Get it out of the way. Come over here to your SketchUp. I already have it opened up, so make it a little bit quicker. We're not going to need this lady right now, so she can be deleted and come home later. I'm going to readjust this view. File, come up here to File, Import, and this is what we're going to be drawing. So, import this and put it here. And I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. There we go, might be close enough. Okay, we're going to start with a bedroom here, and just like making triangles not triangles, rectangles. Come over here, highlight the rectangle tool, lift, click, and drag, 19 feet, comma, 9 feet, enter. There we go. Now we're going to come down to here. We'll make the living room, 14 Point five feet enter you see I did that one wrong I'm gonna tell you I did that on purpose but I didn't okay 14.5 comma 15 feet enter there we go let's undo that one always got to remember put your foot mark on there 14.5 feet, comma, 15 feet, enter. There we go. Let's come over here, put the closet. We're going to go 9 feet, comma, 3 feet, enter. There we go. So the bathroom, just bring this down. 7.5 feet, comma, 6.5 feet, comma. Let's see this one a little bit shallow. So we're just going to manually just draw this in for right now. This is just for tutorial purposes. So let's go in and block off this kitchen right here. 
just going to come over here and lock it up to approximately right there. Let's go ahead and get rid of this line that we don't need. Get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. So that's approximately close enough. So next step, usually, not always, but usually, exterior walls are drawn at six inches. Interior walls are drawn at four inches. And this is where my method is different than a lot of people's. I'm gonna come over here to the tape measure. I'm just gonna come up here and draw or enter. Make sure this going this way is gonna be on the red axis for enter. For enter and for enter. Now we're going to come out and go two inches on the inside. So the four and two make six to enter to enter. Go this way. On the red axis to enter. And this will be on the green axis. To enter. There you go. Let's go ahead and block this off with some rectangles. I'm going to start with the outside one. So I got my rectangle picked, put it on the start point, left click and get this one done right there. Now let's do the interior right here, right there, whoops I missed that one, there we go. Let's go and get this one blocked off right here, there we go, easy enough. So we won't need these lines anymore, so let's just block, get rid of those, get rid of those. And the interior walls, these are six inches, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. We, these, we don't need those, we don't need those. And let's come up here and just do it right here, get rid of those and that one. Let's get rid of those. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, now we have an exterior six inch wall. So let's make the interior walls four inches. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy there. Okay, same method. Tape measure. Left click. Come over here. To enter. I think I hit the wrong button there. Let's do that one over. To enter. To enter. Okay. To. To. Take this one. To. To. And the last one is going to be this one. Two. Two. Okay, just like we did with the exterior walls, let's go ahead and get these blocked out. So we're going to start right here in the bathroom. Pick the rectangle tool. Just going to come over here into my snap point. Bring my line down to there. Good. Okay, here's my closet. Just on the inside of the closet. There we go. It's right there. Okay, this is the bedroom. There we go. Now this is a little bit trickier, so but we're just going to do this and come all the way down to here. And then just do some erasing later. Okay. These two walls right here, we're just going to use the line tool. Bring this down to there. And let's just take this one and drag it over to there. 
Okay. Got a lot of lines in there. Let's get rid of some of those. First off, we'll get rid of those, get rid of those, and all these. Now let's get rid of these initial lines that we drew. There we go. Get rid of those. Get rid of that one. Let's get rid of those. One more right here. Might as well just get rid of that one too. Okay. Of course you'll want to draw in your closet doors, your bedroom door, your bathroom door, your windows, your entry door. I'm pretty sure that you already have the knowledge of how to do that. But anyway, this is just a very simple way to make a join from a PDF. So I appreciate it if you um, give me some kind of reaction on this. You like it, don't like it, do some kind of constructive criticism, anything you want to do. Subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. Hit the bell so you know when I have future uploads, which is not just SketchUp, as many different things from pocket knives to woodworking to tool reviews. My name is Carl, and I do appreciate you being with us today.